for tuning in to Porch Talk. What's worse, ending a friendship or a relationship? I'm going to need a little second to get myself together on this one. So I'm going to go ahead and let peace, love, and artistry start with how she feels about the situation. Um, so I feel like it is easier to end a relationship than it is to end a friendship. I mean, at the end of the day, they're both types of relationship a friendship is a type of relationship and then a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever is a type of relationship but I feel like it's different when it's somebody that you've known for so many years you've grown up with they have met your family you guys have done different events it's harder to end those relationships versus somebody who I feel like in an actual relationship like a boyfriend girlfriend or whatever that is more give and take there's more that you want from that person to give you than you want from a regular friendship so it's easier to be like okay they're not giving me what i want i don't like this this isn't going the way i want it i'm in this because i think there's somebody else out there friends you know what i'm saying you get what you get either you like them how they are and it is what it is or you don't and you keep it moving for the most part friends don't really change for the better necessarily like you know you've met them their character is who their character is so that part of them doesn't change they don't give you more or give you less but in relationships is different so I feel like a friendship is harder to end because of the history and things of that than it is to end an actual relationship especially if you're unhappy in that relationship you know when you put things that way I would have not even thought about that and this is why it's so great to have other people in the world because they give you different perspectives me personally I think that relationships are everything's relative and i always say this is it's, it's relative people are going to come in and out of your life i am not the type of person to if you want to get going i'm gonna let you go matter of fact i'm going to help you pack your bags and i'm gonna kick your ass out that door that's just the type of person i am <laughs> friendships uh i feel like that's people use that term too loosely now um yeah. now yeah a uh, friends is something that you earn it's something that's built and same thing with a relationship that would require sex right okay? we're not talking about facebook friendships no no them motherfuckers ain't friends shit. they just spectators they just hate us they just gawk us they Friend just stalk crust. us they just you know all of that shit they just they looking for some shit because they ain't got shit to do you know how that is nosy exactly but those are by no means friends when it comes to relationships i've only had two very important relationships in my whole entire life the one i'm currently in and, and the one i was in in high school it was very hard to let the high school relationship go because we were such we were not only in a relationship we were good friends as well we will always be friends and as much as there's no feelings there's no i'm never going to get the warm tingly feeling mm -hmm. when i see him or nothing like that that's dead and gone that, that's reserved for the one person i went and have had two children with but i let a motherfucker go too i mean you know psh, bye <laughs> you know what i'm saying now if my relationship now would end it would be hard it would be very hard on me and to be quite honest, I think it will be a long time before I enter another one if I ever did. I probably, I might enter a relationship, but you know, it'll be like, I stay here, you stay there, and we hook up when we want to and go on back to our lives as the status quo. Because, I mean, it's just a lot. It's a lot when you put into a relationship. It's not just something, it's work. You don't just wake up, ah, oh, relationship, everything's not flowers. You're not smelling the roses every day. Sometimes you're going to get tired of looking at that person. Sometimes you want them to go away and never come back. Sometimes you question yourself, why are you even here? So how did I get here? Why is this? What is this? What can I do? What? You know, you go through all of this craziness, and sometimes it's the best thing ever. I just love him. I love the way he looks. I love the way he smells. I love the way he thinks. I love the way he makes uh -huh. me feel. I love the, you know what I'm saying? It's a bunch of different emotions you go through. So it's very, it's a very complex question, but if that person is of no real significance to me y'all can go right and i think it also depends on like what ties you guys have together like if you got that one friend that you hit them up and you always like hey girl we going to the bar she's like yeah girl we going to the bar and if that's only thing that you guys do that's the only type of right. relationship you go if y'all have a bad argument or something like that and you don't be telling her your personal life and stuff like that or whatever it's gonna be real easy to let her go versus a person who you you didn't cry on their shoulder you know about your relationships and and all kind of stuff like that i think it just depends on the ties that you have with each person and that depends on how easy or difficult it is to let that relationship go yes yeah, compartmentalization uh, something like that what i'm having say? a hard time 
saying that word today but you compartmentalize people you put them in this category oh this yeah. is the person i go to the bar with uh this is the person i go shopping with this yeah. is the person i tell all my business to this is the person i ask the advice this is the per you know what i'm saying um but you might have that one friend that has a little bit of each they don't feel it totally because nobody can fulfill every category but they do a little bit of this here for you a little bit of that so those friends yes in that case it's going to be hard to let that friend go it's like my other mom said two tears in the bucket and fuck it you know after a while you get over it you cry a few tears and another motherfucker will come you know what i'm saying maybe <laughs> this true. person is living for another bigger and better person to come i truly do not believe at my age i doubt and well i'm still learning i don't know everything so i humbly say this i doubt that i'm going to find uh i think childhood friends i think those are the ones that you keep forever it's very rare that you find people as an adult and i have i found a couple that are going to stay around mm -hmm. but the older you get just hey, this is some motherfucker it's just a cool this is just a cool nigga you know what i'm saying i'm about to go and have a ha ha he he couple drinks and i'm gonna go home yeah and i and I, that's okay i i think we put too much stock on things and it makes life difficult instead of just taking things as it is what it is let me rock with it and roll with it to the if the train stops on the track then i'm gonna hop off and i'm gonna go ride another one i mm. mean and that's cool that really is yeah i mean and another thing too i guess it's like i guess that's that thing where they say like some people in your life are a blessing or a lesson so you have to realize that sometimes in friendships and relationships, you're learning all that you're supposed to from that person or, mm -hmm. you know, they're blessing you as much as they can. So either it's going to be a continuance of like a blessing or a lesson or, you know, it is what it is. So you don't know. You got to figure out which one it is because everybody's on. not meant to be around forever. Dead on. I mean, you, right. You might be going through a situation and this person comes along and they can relate to that situation and after you you guys bond on that and after you've gotten all you can get from that person to help you out of the situation or to help you grow they might move on because that was their role in your life so you're 100 percent right and we need to be aware from that let's stop being bitter and being angry let's just realize I enjoyed that person while they were here. We had good times. And it's cool. It's over. That's the beauty of growing and learning. All is not lost. No love is not tossed to the flame. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so thanks again once again for tuning in to Four Shop. We're going to see you next time. Make sure you subscribe to Peace, Love, and Artistry. Catch you. Bye. Peace. Make sure you choose Rocky Road Productions LLC Porsche Talk to feed your entertainment needs. And you can do that by following us on Facebook, Instagram. Make sure you like this video and share it with all your family and friends. Tag somebody in it, why don't you? And don't forget to comment down below and let us know how you feel. And before you leave, make sure you subscribe. That's right. You'll catch us every week. Looking forward to see you again next time. Bye.